All right, runners, I want to show you this exercise. You do 20 on each side. It's going to target your glutes. It's going to target your balance, and it's going to open your hips up so you can run faster. Hi, everyone. My name is Steve Gonser, physical therapist with Run Smart. Uh, just real quick before you check this video out, if you're interested in strength training, training plans, fixing imbalances, and injury prevention, check out the Run Smart app. I put a link in this post. And uh, for the very short time, we actually have a discounted rate uh, for only $99 a year. Okay, so in this exercise, I want to show you what most runners do. I'm going to move this around a touch. So when most runners do a lunge, they, they like to drop this knee down and come back up. And if you look at this motion, right, it's not very running-like. It's not very consistent with what we would think of as a running motion. So I'm going to point this down a touch. So this, not very good. So this is how most runners do their lunges. They come down and drop their knee down. I want you guys to do this a little bit more runner-specific. And when I say runner-specific, I want it to look and feel and actually translate better to the rows, and that's why that's so important. So instead of doing those traditional lunges, here's what you're gonna do. We use these a ton in our boot camps and our strength training on the Run Smart app. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start incorporating rotation. So you're gonna do your forward lunge, but first, we need to break you of this habit. So keep the back leg locked. You'll see I'll come up on the toe of this back leg. This looks a little bit more like running compared to the traditional lunge. So we're gonna get a little bit more runner specific. Your heel, your heel can come up on this backside. So it's gonna look something like this with an added twist. You can go here, twist over the front leg, come up and try to find your balance. This rotation lunge does a couple things. It's going to, when you do the twist, it's gonna load your glutes a little bit more. It's going to open up your chest and free up your low back. So many of us are keyboard warriors and, and sitting like a turtle at, in front of our computer working. We want to make sure we can open up our chest and open up our mid-back so we can maximize our speed and prevent injury. So what I like to do here, 20 on each side, come up to, yeah, try to come up to balance on each rep. So twist, up and balance, twist, up and balance. You'll certainly do both sides, obviously. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, let me show you. You can actually just incorporate a little bit of weight. So all you're going to do is hold this at the chest. You're not going to hold it out to the front. You're going to step, twist to the side, same side, and find your balance. 20 reps on each side right before your run can make a huge difference. It can free you up. And if you're a runner who's just like, you go out for a run, you're like, oh my god. Like, it takes you a mile to find your stride. It takes you a mile to loosen up. Your hips ache, your knees ache. Then try this out before you run, and I'm confident it's going to open you up, make you feel a little bit looser. And if you want more help, if you struggle with injuries, you want to get going and train again, run more consistently, be sure to check out the Run Smart app. I put a link in this post. Um, but otherwise, try this exercise out, and I think you guys will like it. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.